air made we made a few videos ago. Gonna get your Italian on one. And I got some cherry tomatoes. I tossed them in the, there. We're gonna season them with a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna go over and toss them in a blistering hot pan. We're gonna use these later in another recipe. Or actually use these in a recipe that we're prepping later today. Uh, it's just gonna be blistered cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. We're we'll prepping some chicken breasts here for our chicken parmesan. I got some pretty nice big thick ones. You really don't want to cook chicken parmesan or almost any chicken dish like that. So I'm gonna take this nice plump breast and you're gonna cut it on the side just like so. And you can do this split it in half or you can do it like this if you want to stuff the chicken breast. But that's a little bit more on the even side. I'm going to do two of them. I can freeze the rest of these chicken breasts. These are really, really thick. All the way in half. Nice little cutlets like that. And if they're still a little thick like this one, pound it out a little bit. It really in a restaurant we only use a mallet. We don't have to do much pounding. That way it's an even thickness on both sides. So. Oh, I made some Italian breadcrumbs. Panko uh, breadcrumbs and then I put a teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of rosemary, a heaping teaspoon of oregano, heaping teaspoon of basil, uh, almost a tablespoon of, about a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And I just mix this up with a fork with the panko breadcrumbs. Now I've got some grated parmesan. I was lazy, bought that store, already grated. Gonna put about a cup and a half, two cups. Really gonna blend that together. So your Italian breadcrumbs are going to be almost 50-50 cheese and panko mix with the spices. All right, I've salted this side of the chicken breast, salt the other side. I'm going to go back with some pepper. I'm going to bread them up now. Oh. Already tried one, I've got it on the stove. And just put a little egg wash, season the chicken breast, and then we're going to put it up here and take our cheese and breadcrumb mixture. Just keep adding it and pressing it. So, going to finish these up. And then after we get this and we let them rest and we'll come back and bake these off. See you in a few minutes. Chicken's still curing, getting set up, making our Parmesan cream. Now, got a little heavy whipping cream. I was going to make some soup this week. I hadn't got around to it, been really busy at work. But Parmesan cream. Got the grated Parmesan, white pepper, we don't need the garlic. Ah. We've got our toasted garlic here, our seeds, well, pink Himalayan salt right here. I love that stuff. A little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg is an ingredient that's in most Alfredo's that most people don't know about. That's one of the, so we've got our, the most people don't know about. We've got our toasted garlic here. I'm just going to use a spatula, kind of smash it around. You can use a knife. I've got a, uh, Old tile from somebody's bathroom construction. Very cathartic to use. But, you know. Got a couple of these already fried up. Got the last one working right here. Back. Chicken's done. Going to slice a piece of chicken up. And what we're going to do is going to start with a little bit of it. Now, we're going to put a little bit of this oil in here. Really don't need much, but. 
Here's the Parmesan cream sauce. About two ounces. All right, let's see how that mixes with the oil. Let's warm it up really quickly. And we're gonna take a nice handful of pasta. This is gonna go very, very quickly, so turn that fire down. You just want enough sauce to coat your pasta. Do not want to have a sauce, sticky pile of gooey mess. So, see how the Parmesan cream is just coated with pasta. There's no extra sauce left over. Um, and if you want to make it nice, what you do is you twist it like this. That's how they get nice little piles of restaurants. Slide that off on plate. Chicken. Slice that. Make it nice and pretty. Got our charred tomatoes that we did earlier. You can do those a day ahead, just like you'd, I'd recommend you do the chicken a day ahead. I'm going to put all these on here because I'm going to eat because they're Awfully tasty. And I have fresh basil from the garden outside. So there you have it. Chicken parmesan with blistered cherry tomatoes. Feed your brother. If you like, subscribe. Ring the bell. You get the little ding ding notices every time I post something out on there. Also, leave your comments, suggestions in the boxes. I am looking for suggestions for stuff for us to cook. New ideas. Remember, try to keep it simple. I know this one's a little more complicated, but this was a request from the people that have left comments. So, have a great day. See you soon. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Smell this lucky parmesan chicken. We make this for somebody. You don't get lucky. You need to give up. Mmm. Oh, awesome. Oh shit, forgot to turn the camera off.